Thai Prime Minister Prayajanosha says he has given orders to not allow Cambodian opposition leader Sam Rainsy from entering Thailand. This response comes as Mr. Rainsy says he will be returning to Cambodia via Bangkok. The self-exiled opposition leader said he would return on Saturday, attaching a screenshot of his Thai Airways plane ticket. Our senior correspondent Mei Wong has more. Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut chan -cha said he is given orders to not allow Cambodia's opposition leader Som Rensi from entering this country. This after Som Rensi said he will fly into Bangkok on Friday before returning to Cambodia. Som Rensi has been living in exile in France since 2015 due to a string of charges which he claims are politically motivated. At a regular weekly news conference, Thailand's Prime Minister Prayut chan -cha said that as part of ASEAN, Thailand will not interfere in any of the internal affairs of the other ASEAN member nations. He said he will also not allow any anti-government parties or individuals from using Thailand as a base for their causes. Last month, Thailand had already prevented another Cambodia opposition leader, Mo Sukua, from entering this country after she landed at Suwanapum Airport from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, en route to Cambodia. She was returned to Kuala Lumpur on that very same day. Both Mo Sukua as well as Som Rensi are from the same banned opposition, Cambodia National Rescue Party. Both had wanted to go back to Cambodia to lead a movement for what they call to restore Cambodia back to democracy. The Cambodian government, led by Prime Minister Hun Sen, had accused the two of them for wanting to stage a coup in the country. At least 50 opposition Cambodian activists have also been arrested this year, accused of wanting to overthrow the Cambodian government. May Wong, CNA, Bangkok. Mr. Rainsy fled to France four years ago after he was convicted of criminal defamation. He also faces a five-year prison sentence in a separate case. Mr. Rainsy says the charges have been politically motivated. His planned return on Saturday coincides with Cambodia's Independence Day. And authorities are bracing for his return and have deployed troops along Cambodia's borders.